Hey, what's up guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and it's been a while since I've been on the Reddit for 3D printing compared to how often I used to binge browse every night, but I took a look yesterday and I saw a post on the homepage that uh, was actually pretty shocking and I felt I should probably share it with you guys. Um, I've talked about many cases in the past about people claiming that the cheap China printers such as the Anetid A8 were causing fires. Uh, the Anetid A8 seemed to be a really big target there for a while in the online community. In that video I talked about how I felt many of the cases were made up or even exaggerated and that it was more likely just like a MOSFET burning out or maybe a, a plug on it melting, worst case scenario. Well, someone actually posted a picture of the remains of a fire that was caused in a home from their Anet A8 3D printer, which is a printer that I personally have and I know there's a huge community behind. Now, I'm not going to try making this to seem like 3D printers are bad. I love them. I have tons of them and you know my channel is primarily about them, but this is something that happened and if it happened once, it could happen again. Uh, I don't know what the circumstances are as to whether it was the PSU or something related to the board failing and frying. I do always recommend with cheap kit printers to upgrade the power supply as well as to make sure the wiring is correct and even adding a separate MOSFET board for the heat bed. Uh, if you do want to see some tips on how you can make your printer safer, I did make an article as well as I believe a video on that, which I will place in the description down below. This is something that can happen with any machine or printer. Don't think it's just the Annette A8, even if it's from a reputable seller and it is manufactured and considered a trusted brand. It is really never recommended to leave your printer running when you're not home or to run it while you're sleeping. If you really have to leave the printer running while you are gone, then you should have a camera monitoring it. And if you could even implement some kind of a kill switch that could be remotely triggered, that would be great if something did malfunction. Uh, this is just one case and it could be caused by neglect or an environmental factor, but safety is extremely important. And the person who had this happen is really lucky that the fire wasn't worse and that no persons were injured. It is a little scary that this is something that could happen and most consumers really don't think of or worry about their toaster or microwave catching on fire. Then again, they are not assembled by themselves. I think that if nothing else, I will take this and hope that you take this as a reminder of what can happen in worst case scenario. I know I've gotten extremely comfortable with running long prints on my machines without being around and would be just completely devastated if something like this happened to myself. Um, so what are you guys' thoughts on this? Um, I'd like to know in the descriptions down below. Um, again, I do not want this to, I'm not trying to turn people off from 3D printing. I love my 3D printers, I'm still gonna be using them. This doesn't change anything in that sense. Um, again, I'm just think as a reminder to ourselves that these are machines that do have power supplies that are running, you know, relatively, uh, you know, high voltage and things like that that can malfunction if, you know, there is neglect or whether they were not manufactured correctly and, you know, can cause something like this to happen. So, uh, again, this is more of just a uh, really like a reminder to all of us to be careful when we're 3D printing because, um, you know, it's fun and as great as it is, there is still a possibility for something to go wrong and for something dangerous like this to happen. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not a happy go feel lucky type video, but again, it is important nonetheless. And uh, I just didn't feel right to read this article and not at least share it with some of you guys. So uh, on that note, I will end the video. Once again, this has been Daniel from ModBot and I am out. Peace, guys.